knees, straighten the legs, lower the hands, circle the arms up, slowly inhale, and press the palms down to exhale. Okay, so I know Monday, uh, your instructor Fig told me that you guys looked at repulse monkeys. I know that's new for you. Were you here Monday? No, I saw it on video. Saw it on video. Okay, so my plan for today is to stay as one group for kind of continued warm up, where just to kind of start to lay that sequence down, I'd like to start from cross hands and run it through the three repulse monkeys, totally understanding that that's brand new, and so, you know, no expectations, just to kind of get that sequence down. And then once we've done that a couple times, split groups where I will work with the green sashes and really, you know, work into those first moves as well as repulse monkeys. Um, red and brown black, you can carve out some space and run the second section for sequence. So, you know, and then I'll kind of float between the two and answer questions that come up. Sound okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, so for running this, I would like Mr. Hungerford to switch places with Mr. Watkins, just so that greens are kind of in the middle. So if you can't see me, you have Ms. Worthington on one side, you have Ms. Garcia and Mr. Hungerford on the other side. And remember, we're kind of winging it. This is not about, you've got it. Just kind of get, get your feet wet with it. And uh, again, just cross hands through the three repulse monkeys. And we'll do that twice. Yes, um, so that means. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Grasp the bird's tail. Diagonal, single whip. Repulse monkeys, two. Repulse monkeys, three. And reset. We'll do that two more times. And let's try and do callbacks as well. So I like that, like, oh yes, callbacks. Let's do those. Helps, helps memorize the names. Grasp the bird's tail. Grasp the bird's tail. Diagonal single whip. Diagonal single whip. Repulse monkeys, one. Repulse monkeys, two. Repulse monkeys, two. Repulse monkeys, three. Release. One more time. Grasp the bird's tail. Grasp the bird's tail. Diagonal single whip. Repulse monkeys, one. 
it's hard to visualize, but uh, let's see. So left punch would come. I mean, right punch would come at me. I would make contact, wrist, turn it upside down, catch the shoulder, sink. And by sinking, even though I'm not putting them on the ground, they end up on the ground. It just, I mean, it's it's not it's not subtle. So here. So it's a grab and a turn. It's a block first. We don't get hit. Contact gently. Rotate. And this is checking. So it's a push pull. It's a splitting energy. If you've heard us talk about splitting energy, this is the king of splitting energy. Pull and it pushes. One of them is here and one of them is here. Because this is pushing out on a shoulder. This is pulling in on the wrist. And it's open, so it's kind of like, you know, at no point am I grabbing, grabbing. It's just enough to both turn and, and pull. Mm -hmm. Good question. Kind of like a little ninja. Yes, yeah, very similar. He has a, and it's got a push pull, for sure. So um, let's go through it together a couple of times. So let's we'll start at the end of fist under elbow. Make this way so we can line back and you guys need a move? I can get the strike to. Which one? Turn around, strike through, back. Got it, jerk down. Oh, press it over in the punch. Okay. Wait, hang on. Yes. 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 from anything that you've done. I mean, if you're in the angles, it's about a 20 degree angle. So it's not gonna be your 45. It's kind of splitting the difference here. Shoulder width apart, the weight slightly on the back leg, but really more towards the center. So like I'm centered, but I feel a little bit more of the weight on the back leg. Let's start again from fist under elbow. And follow through. Sink the elbow, palm to turn up, sink down, step in. Now stay on that support leg and reach back from the hip with the toe. Stay on the front leg, but just shift that just enough to let the toe and the heel hit the ground. Now shift to the back leg, turn, switch the hands, turn the front toes in. Uh huh. And then you'll be upright. So that's exactly right. But sit up. There you go. Oh, sit up, crouch down. Now, follow through, open up with the arms. Sink the elbows. Sink down, step down. Step back with the toe, stay on the front leg. Shift back just enough to let the heel touch the ground. Now, shift, turn the front toes, switch the hands. Uh -huh. Very good. Last one, open. Sink the elbows, sink down, step in. Step back with the toe. Shift back just enough to let the toe open the heel hit the ground. Shift, switch the hands, turn the front toes in. Good, real good, release. Questions? Practice. Need practice, okay. So is the forward hand in a block or a block? It's in a, in yeah. It's because um, what I'm going to be doing is shoulder. So it's kind of in that groove. So I'm not pushing flat palm, okay. but I'm also not like knife blocking. So you can try to, you'd be putting it into that crease in my shoulder to, to make contact with it. Like you're not blocking, you're actually like pushing my whole shoulder away. Yes. And it stays there. So it's not a hit. You don't it's want to hurt your shoulder. This one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Um, so it's a contact. So this is don't get hit. And this is like, it stays in contact. So it's not a strike. It's actually like palming the back of the shoulder. And this has to be Absolutely. Yes. 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 Very good. So 
was a push-pull, and that push-pull, once we're able to get with people again, you will see it just instantly does this. I mean, it's, it's put some put some face face towards the floor. Um, question or you? on a tight rope. So I'm, let's see, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm a zigzag. Yeah, it's, a it zigzag. Is, it's a zigzag, right? Yeah. right? So, and because my hips are at angles, mm -hmm. the, the natural tendency is to want to, I have to go backwards. Yeah. You know, and this, this does weird things, okay? Mm -hmm. The other weird thing that can happen with the folks on these, several weird things, but the other weird thing that can happen is not stepping back from the hip, but stepping back too laterally. Like again, we've talked about learning what stepping back from your hip means. Here's another one where that comes into play, like learning that, okay, my hip bone right here, and I step back from that, that's back from my hip. It's not here, I've crossed the line, right? It's also not here. But somehow being on this diagonal makes it real easy to get confusing and people will step too narrow or they'll start stepping really wide. So let's just practice with the footwork. Forget the hands for now. So fist under elbow. And take that step in. So you're kind of at an angle here, right? Right. So just step back with the toe from there. Now, the way you get that angle to naturally happen is by staying on this front leg and just enough weight. See, I didn't do this. Right. I stayed here and I just did this. Make sense? Yes. Now shift, and when you turn these front toes in, the hips will now be kind of at this angle. Uh-huh. Now, sink down, step in. Step back. Stay on the front leg. Just enough weight for that foot to come, the heel to come down. Now, shift and turn. And you should roughly be at 20 degrees. Yeah? Um, as opposed to this or this. So, plus, like if it's. 30, plus the last minute correction. If it's 30 degrees, nobody here is going to be like, uh, excuse me. You know, but what you don't want is facing straight ahead or some way way out here. Um, and one more. So, sink down, step in. Stay on the front leg. Reach back with the toe. Just enough to let the heel fall. Shift. Turn. Front toes in. Yes. Excellent. Very good. That is the foundation. Excellent. Of repulse monkeys. Um, what will mess you up is what we've talked about, and you guys are doing a great job of it, is forgetting to stay in that front leg as you shift that weight back. Because watch what happens if I... So let's sit down, step in. If I shift as I set that down, my foot goes super wide. And now, if I step back from my hip, now I'm, I'm off. It, it just puts everything off. It's, you, see, you see how it can get? Woo! So you can get off course pretty easily with this. So hopefully, by us talking about this, it gives you some tools to self-diagnose if you find yourself offline when you're practicing at home. Does that make sense? Yes, any questions for me? Because I'm going to go check in with them real quick. Huh? <laughs> so practice a little bit. You don't have to stay together. Just carve out some space. I'm going to check in with them. And I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.
down, step in, get your balance, step back, and then begin shift, pull, push, front toes in, uh-huh, and then uh, just make your, keeping your weight up again, so that's exactly right, but just kind of, you sort of, you end up on the back leg, and you stay mo a little bit more on the back leg, but you don't, it's not, you don't stay all the way, so it kind of evens out a little bit, open, sink down, step in, Open, sink, 
step, shift, pull, flush. One more, open. Stay in step. Back, shift, pull, push, front toes in. Pull here, flush, sit, flush. There it is. teach it as like a thing, but based on all my connective tissue issues, I, I cheat this in a little bit so that I step back from my hip and I stay on this leg and I turn these toes out and then I shift okay. to here. So they'll start here and it's very similar to Embrace Tiger Return to Mountain, how you lead with that heel. Stay on the front leg so that you can turn those toes out. Then as you shift, they'll, they'll come up this way. Does that make sense? All right, 60 seconds, practice whatever move you'd like, then we'll bow out. I think you do two things at once. I'm not sure, but I'm really glad I got captured on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can do repulse monkeys and critique footwork for Hit the Tigers. Trained professional here. <laughs> <laughs> on video for posterity. At the end of a long day. At the end of a long day. I've earned my kibble. <laughs> in the middle of something. <laughs> ah, so when you do adjust that front foot, pivot on the heel. You'll have more. Yeah. Just on the toe. Yeah, yeah, you'll have more root on it. You'll feel it connect with your with your leg. already as a teacher in another discipline. So I mean I was I was pretty body aware and repulse monkey just I mean it was it was really hard for me to get a handle on it. And it's like no you have back stances. I mean you have them and you even have retreating back stances, you know, I mean which I can't even I can't even do them now. 
now because now because of those monkeys. But you know, <laughs> and the concept of retreating backwards and, and, and it was not foreign to me, and yet I was, it was very very hard. So please be you know be be jolly with yourself if, <laughs> if, if this stuff starts to. Look, I mean, think about monkeys. They, they get, oh, you get the monkey off the back. I mean, it's, I, it's not a coincidence. I'm, I'm convinced that there is, oh, swat them. All right, any last questions before we bow out of last class training? No? All right, so day class, we'll pick up a little bit more with monkeys tomorrow in, in Master's Town. And then uh, Senior Head Instructor Fig and I will coordinate between Monday and Wednesday so that we get some consistency. Good work, everybody. Let's do our life skill. The path of self-mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. The path of self-mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. The path of self-mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity.